Welcome to the first edition of Guitar Media Magazine Reviews. Now, kindly we have the awesome Steve Shaw from the online magazine, Guitar Media Magazine, and he has kindly brought along the Nags guitars for us to demo. So today we have the Chesapeake series from Nags Guitars. Now, this is the brainchild of Joe Nags, former PRS Luther, and Peter Wolf which deals with the marketing. So as you can see with the body, we have this beautiful forearm carve, a really nice tummy cut. We've got the string through body, and you know we have this nice carving on the cutaway. You know, you can tell this guitar has heavy PRS influences, and also you can see some Fender influences in there too. Yeah, so on the chop tank, we have this unique design tailpiece. And as you can see, the neck pickup is housed in the bridge. As you can see, it's a three single coil configuration, five way switch, volume, tone and tone. And the very intricate inlay detail we have on the headstock, the truss rod cover and the fret inlays. Now these guitars are graded in three tiers. Now today we have the tier two. Now the highest grade is tier one. Now tier one is the most expensive instrument because of the higher quality woods involved and the cosmetic refinements of the guitar. Right, so we've got this guitar plugged into the Hayden Mini Mofo running a Zilla 2x12 modern and we are mic'd up with an SM57 and we've got a nice dirty crunchy tone going on so let's get into it. <laughs> Right, so, so now we're on the bridge pickup. So as you can hear, it's got a very nice bright sound to it and, and the strings just really seem to ring out and it's got some wonderful sustain. <laughs> I mean, it's just a joy to play. I mean, I mean it's, it feels really nice under your hand. It's got nice slack feel to the strings. I mean, the frets just seem to slip under your fingers and this rosewood board, it just looks absolutely amazing. <laughs> So now we're on the neck pickup, you can really hear it's got some real nice fat beefy tones, very telly like sound. <laughs> So as you can hear we just played the same riff and we flipped up through the pickups there 
and you know each pickup selection has its individual tone and you know it just seems to be a very versatile guitar another thing i noticed is the acoustics of this guitar when it's unplugged is really resonant you can tell a really nice quality instrument by the you know acoustics of the guitar before it's even plugged in you, you know this one's you know really resonant and sounds really nice and, and also another thing i noticed about this guitar is just the attention to detail and finish i mean you know it's what you expect from a handcrafted instrument you, you know the attention to detail is flawless from the figured top and the pick guard you know i like the way they have the different colored screws in the pick guard i mean it just makes this guitar really stand out and it's unique so the one thing i've noticed about sitting here with this guitar is the Fender influence on the tone you know it really does sound like a Telecaster but also you know it can sound like a strap I mean this guitar is ideally suited to heavy rock and blues but also you know you can crank up the gain and you know it was just play any genre of music really but because of the Telecaster tones it's more suited to a hard rock blues style of music <laughs> So as you can hear on the bridge pickup, we have a nice, warm, thin tone. So as you could hear going through the pickups, you know, we started off on a nice thin telly style tone. And as we flipped up through the pickup selector, you could hear it going into some nice warm fat tones. <laughs> So the unique design of Joe Nag's tailpiece makes this guitar very resonant. You know, when you sit here playing it, you can really feel the resonance of this guitar. Right, so that was just a quick overview of the Nag's Chop Tank guitar. Now this is a very high-end guitar, which comes with a very high-end price tag, but it's totally justifiable because the outstanding quality of the guitar you, you know the attention to detail you know the price is all justifiable you, you, you know it's not suited to everyone's budget but if you can afford to get one of these you know it'd be the ideal working man's guitar right so i'd just like to say a big thank you to guitar media magazine you know please go and check out the magazine online there'll be a full written article on nags guitars it's free to download so if you check out the link in the description box subscribe to the magazine because it's all free